Okay, so a subscriber suggested in my latest live stream to try out older KT Plasma versions, and I thought, why not? But now that I do actually see older KT Plasma versions, I'm starting to regret it, because, uh, well, I mean, I, I gotta be happy that in the last 13 versions there has been so much work on improving the appearance of everything, because it is so much better. So what KD Plasma is this? And I actually choose the first KD Plasma version that I've ever used. This is the KD Plasma version that actually convinced me to use KD Plasma daily, even though I customized pretty much everything back in the day. So what are we talking about? Let's open up system settings and, well, noticeably enough if you actually go into system settings you'll find no mention what whatsoever on what versions we are using i keep making this mistake it's in system info center and this is kd plasma 5.12.9 with the opal background i still remember that so let, let's start with the first thing that i see which is why is the panel so small like when I, I, I do remember when uh, it was proposed to make the panel bigger, I think uh, maybe it was it happened multiple times, but the later, latest time it was proposed by, if I remember correctly, Nate Graham. And if I remember correctly, I was absolutely against the idea. And uh, after some weeks, I was like, you know what, that's actually much better. And now seeing this, yes, yeah, totally better with a 14 pixels uh, panel. So let's try. Uh, how did you actually edit the panel again? The new edit mode is so much better. Okay, so you just do this. And then height, you just have to guess the height. You don't see the actual number. Okay, let's make it like this. Did we, uh, we don't have the alternatives here so I cannot switch to the icons only task manager from here and I guess this is a button to remove the widget if so it's a terrible button because this is to close dialogues not to remove anything it should be a trash icon like now it is and although I gotta say I do like this configure even though now it's it also says configure as a label in and uh, now we can see that the show desktop button became, it's not symbolic anymore, which looks so bad. I also remember when uh, there was the uh, merge request to make the show desktop always symbolic regardless of the panel size. And it was not as easy to implement as I thought it was going to be. And uh, we do have one feature in KD Plasma 5.12 that we don't in KD Plasma latest and that a lot of people ask about and that is rounded corners. So if you look at here, well it's not easy to see it but corners are actually rounded and they are not rounded in the latest KD Plasma and a lot of people would want them to be rounded. The reason why they're rounded is system settings, workspace theme I guess. We had so many system settings uh, revamps that I don't remember what this was in. And uh, it's not here. Uh, where is it? Application style, yes. Window decoration. And there is this border size normal. This on letters is changed to no borders and for good reasons, because if you open up as an example, the console, in this older KD Plasma version, you do have margins, white margins all around, and that looks so bad compared to what we have right now. But having a bigger border size actually gives us rounded corners at the bottom. And changing the border size is another merge request that I totally remember and that took so long because there was the Kwin uh, maintainer that was against this. You can see also here to the left that we have this margin which looks so bad like it's so weird to see like kd plasma like this it's like kd plasma but not kd plasma N not as i re remember it and then we have this this looks bad okay so the title is like super big and then the system entry is so thin like it should be taller i'm used to having a taller system um tray and fun fact 
Making the system trade holder is another metric that I don't remember. Uh, it was made from by Nate Graham again, and again I was against it. And after a couple of weeks, I pinged him, and I was like, you know what? It was a, actually a good choice. Thank you for forcing uh, us to do it. And uh, totally. And I mean, this looks like without margins and I gotta say the shadow is bad. Let's switch to the light uh, theme so you can actually see the shadow but whoops. Colors, uh, breeze, this is breeze. Uh, yes, because it's the plasma theme. Where is the plasma theme? Desktop theme, it's called breeze, like this. Okay, just look at this shadow, like it, it's so bad. It's, it's not a shadow, it, it's like a one pixel black outline almost. Fun fact, my first patch, my first series patch to Kitty was changing the shadows, so that's why I'm looking at them so carefully. Also, kickoff, the old kickoff, uh, that's so important, like the new, the new one is so beautiful and seeing the old one like this is not something I'm used to seeing. And uh, what else do we have here? We've got screen edge, add spacer, more settings. Well, this is very similar to what we have right now. So again, this remove panel has the wrong icon. I mean, how do you know this is completely destroying your panel and this one is, oh, just close this dialog, it's fine. So risky. So what apps do we have? We do have contact. Does this work? Starting the Akonadi server. Can we add like, um, uh, oh, the mail program encountered a fatal error. Okay, thank you. And uh, it died, I guess, so nope. There's Kate, there's old Kate with the old icon. And I mean, it looked pretty nice though. Uh, this is what I recalled uh, Kate is. Why is this not, ah, yes, right, like this. This is what I'm used to seeing from when I open Kate. New Kate is prettier, but uh, this is what I used for a year. So this looks from wh what I left. This top title bar is something that I really didn't like. And actually Manjaro uh, in system settings configured the gradient to disappear again. If you go into application style, uh, window decoration again, you go into the settings. Again, how do you know this button is settings? The, the icons are all wrong. And in here you have draw window background gradient. This should be it, okay. Now just with this change, now that there's no gradient, this looks so much more modern in my opinion. And this is what Manjaro did and I personally started applying this option as well before the new redesign of Breeze, which looks just perfect. Apply everything. We've got old discover. That's so cute. Hello, old discover. Yeah, old discover at this coffee picture for uh, no reason whatsoever. Like, why would you want a coffee picture for featured applications? I don't know. There's also the KD Plasma logo and you still see the white margin to the left. However, it's funny that in here, so it was like featured and nothing. Nothing is featured, okay, thank you. It's funny that even though there's this old uh, frame all around the app and these like pictures from stock photos that don't make any sense, I do see that this is where KD Plasma was going towards. Like this starts, especially this part with the heading, this starts to look like modern KD Plasma. And uh, 3D chess, okay, thank you. Nice picture. It seems like touch input is missing from here. We now do have touch, but I mean, maybe it's just the VM that kills touch input. Settings, how settings? Ah. Now this looks like Kurigami. This totally looks like Kurigami. So there is some beginning to stuff that begins to look like correct <laughs> KD Plasma 5.25 and uh, 12. This is the old K, uh, system monitor, which looks identical, except of course now there is the new system monitor, which looks beautiful. Do we have some widgets to add? Ah, we still have this thing here. I completely had forgotten about this one. We have the toolbox. This is the desktop toolbox. And it, it was this 
so weird thingy that I always removed as uh, my first step when using Kitty Plasma that allows you to refresh the desktop, which is such a technical detail that the usual users shouldn't care about. Also show desktop because this button here isn't enough. And add widgets. So let's try to add something. It's the widget sidebar, sidebar is compact. And let's try, I mean, the widgets are the same mostly. I don't see anything particularly different. And they would almost look the same if it wasn't for like, I don't know, battery brightness is going to look so much different, right? No batteries available. Okay, this, this is the whole widget. No batteries available. And there is this big enable power, ma power management. Notifications also looked bad. And there's no timeout, like uh, I remember when the timeout was added to the close uh, circle and that was beautiful. Right now there's no way to know if this notification is going to expire. Let's just close it. This, this looks so bad, like this is giant and this is so small, this is giant and this is so small. Okay, I am, I'm done. This is, was me totally roasting Kitty Plasma 5.12, but you know... It can't be that bad because when I saw it, I kind of fell in love with it. So for the next video, I'm going to try to go even earlier and try KD Plasma 5.0. And I al already found 4. something. So I've got at least a couple of more videos. And after that, who knows, maybe I can go even earlier and see a bit of the history of KD Plasma.